Today, I am going to introduce you to a practice called praying in color. Um, it is a book by Sybil Macbeth. And actually, can I share my screen? No. Um, the um, Sybil really wanted a centering practice, um, but she got really fidgety when she tried to meditate and her, you know, had monkey mind and got really distracted. And so she is a doodler. You can share your screen now. Oh, thanks. She is a doodler and one day put two and two together. And so I just want to share a couple of practices of hers um, of doodling in prayer. And so she starts with examples uh, you know, sometimes it's a, a piece of scripture, like the, I am the vine, you are the branches. And then you can see she goes from there. Um, for those who are observe Lent, she has some Lenten um, blanks on her, on her website that you can fill in. She has an example actually of, um, one during a war where she just used a calendar and just filled in that little box. So this doesn't need to be extensive. It can be really simple. Reasons she gives to doodle. You can't find words. Um, you can't sit still. Your mind waters, wanders. Um, or you just want to try something new. So this morning, I invite you to doodle. There is absolutely no expectation of artistic talent. The goal is not to create art. It is simply to have intention with what you're doing. Maybe pick someone that you want to be holding in the light or praying for and start with their name. You might start with your name for the divine. You might start with your own name. Are there questions? Otherwise, let's doodle. As you put pen to paper, let go of thoughts. Allow yourself to simply be present. To what you're drawing.
Let go of any judgment about what your picture looks like and trust whatever is coming out of your pen or pencil. If it's helpful for you to continue drawing, I invite you to do that. And as you feel ready to set aside the art that's not art, and settle in 
to quiet reflection, you're invited to do that. Thank you, friends.